We're down to the two best teams in the world and just moments away from the most exciting fixture in football, the World Cup Final. Stay with us, we'll have all the action live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the match is underway. Jota. It's with Ruben Neves. Portugal looking dangerous. Ronaldo. Well, he keeps going. The referee is given a corner. Next to go short. Neves. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here, and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception Giovanni Lo Celso now let's see what they can do here and the pass could do damage that's all they can conjure for now
Bernardo Silva. Ronaldo. Jota. On to Bruno Fernandes. Jota. On to Silva. Can he get them in front? And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Saber. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Di Maria. Now that pass easy on the eye. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Guerrero Silva and this is Diogo Jota now Fernand showing patience as well as persistence in the builder Paredes Giovanni Lo Celso deserves credit for winning the ball back Promising attack, this. <laughs> Guerrero. Now with Ronaldo. Could be. It's still alive. Oh, it's in. They take the lead here. And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Bruno Fernandes, nicely timed tackle. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. <coughs> and this confrontation is underway. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Bernardo Silva. <laughs> 